É uma tábua portuguesa com certeza. <risos> Hello, season's greetings everyone. Welcome to Keeping Up with Linda. With the holidays approaching, all these ideas have been popping up in my head. What it is I'm going to be serving for appetizers, for dinner, for dessert. Well, today I'm here to share with you what it is I'm going to be serving on my appetizers slash antipasto board. It is a Portuguese style board and I'm going to be showing you that today. I'm also very excited because my daughter Melissa, or Honey Bee, will be joining me, so she's gonna help me to put it together. Okay, let's do it. Okay, here's our homemade leek sausage. Blood sausage. And our homemade chorizo. With all this, I don't think I need to worry about dinner because the appetizers alone will be dinner. I think it's a great idea for New Year's. Everything is sliced and ready to go on my Portuguese board. And here's the board, waiting for all the goodies. Oh wait, there's already something there. A beautiful, beautiful cornbread. It can only be a Portuguese tabua. And things are starting to appear and I just can't wait to work on this board. I can't wait for Melissa to get here. It's gonna be so delicious. That's our homemade bread. We're going to be using things such as uh, torresmos, azeitonas, lupini beans, tramosos, <laughs> queijo fresco, presunto, figos. Welcome! <laughs> wow, you look so pretty! Do I? <laughs> Thank you! Today I'm so excited because I have a special guest that will be helping me with today's video. This is my daughter Melissa, or Honeybee. Hi, season's greetings! So Melissa, why don't you tell everyone what we're going to be doing today? Uh, today we're going to be making a sort of antipasto board or charcuterie because I always wanted to make one and who better to make one with? Oh, thank you! Yeah. That's so cute! But in a very Portuguese style because we have everything we need and exactly. we always have like, you know, the Portuguese goodies at hand, so... So guys, this is gonna be uma tabua portuguesa! Com certeza! <laughs> so to start, let's slice a few pieces of bread. You can find the recipe of this homemade bread in the description below or in my channel. Oh, there's nothing like good cornbread. <laughs> Are we taking this away? Yeah. Yes, position is like that. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know how to decorate a, a board, charcuterie, antipasto, whatever the case may be. Um, but I'm just right now going with symmetry. <laughs> okay. Good idea. I'm gonna start there and we'll see if what happens. We'll see what happens. Yes. Let's put this. Above. So why don't you tell us what you're bringing? These are called turresmos. That's um, right. Pork a, rinds. Pork rinds. Yes. And this is a Portuguese cheese, vaquinha. Mm -hmm. Those so, look amazing. These look very oh. crunchy. I'm not sure where they're going to go. Uh, for now, you just bring everything over and trust me, the, the board will tell you where, where. where things should go. Okay. 
We can now remove this. I'm thinking the grapes go in different spots around. The good table. idea, good idea, yeah. So next everybody can have that. some. Next to the cheese. Let me there. So this uh, is a homemade fresh cheese made by my friend Maria. Thank you, Maria. Oh wow! I can't wait to try that. Yes. Oh, we have hummus, which is not Portuguese, but we like it. So we love it. Uh, so show us the hummus. Nice and fresh, yeah. homemade. Homemade hummus. You can find this recipe um, on Linda's channel as well or in the description below. This one I'm thinking... I'm thinking... Tremosos is very Portuguese too, huh? These are tremosos, also known as lupini beans. They are very Portuguese. There's a lot of, a lot of bowls. That are, there's a lot of things to come on board, so... Okay. Okay, so check the oven. Wow, what did you make? <laughs> so there's blood sausage, there's chorizo, there's leek sausages, there's garlic shrimp. Ooh, I know. That looks good. This is so good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, morcella. Yes, it is. What's in That's here? Nice. This is so cute. <laughs> I want to put it like on the table like this. Yeah. Surprise! Ooh, that looks good! It's garlic shrimp. Wow! That is nice. Let's keep that nice Covered. and toasty. Let's do some dates. Whoops. So this is a cheese from the islands. It's called topo. I am not a good cutter of things. Okay. I'm going to botch it. All right. I'm ruin this. So I'm gonna do it then. So yes. Ah oh, yeah. Yeah, you can do that. Right. Well. But is that pretty? Does it need to be? Yeah, pretty? that's it the whole point of a charcuterie board is that it looks good. And tastes good, obviously, but it has to look good. That's the whole point. Okay, this is for me. <laughs> sure. I think that's enough, right? And then you just need to position it in such a way that <laughs> it hides. Pretty, right? Yeah. See? There we go. And now we kind of need to do something it's, uh, the same Similar. thing. Similar. This is the yellow cheese. Can't wait to try it. Never tried vaquinha before. I guess me neither. It though. almost looks like a cheddar cheese. The detail in the cheese for those cheese enthusiasts. That's it. Just be gentle and. Okay. That looks so nice. Right? I'll see okay. that. Wow, this is coming together. I'm not really fond of this guy here. We, we can put him to the back. Yeah, I want him like. He's heavy in the back. But too this much. guy is also too much attention. I think maybe because the olives are a little smaller. Okay. So maybe the olives. That's yeah, I like that. Okay. One. Where would we put this? Oh, one? that's so cute. Mm -hmm. Where do we put that? Maybe. Okay. Maybe here? Now. Now let's bring the rest of the stuff. So this one here is the uh, chorizo. If it doesn't fit on the actual board, we just put it on the table. Right ah. beside it there, right beside the broa. Okay. Because you know what? Chorizo and broa, whoo, there's nothing better. Ooh, leek sausages. And this recipe can also be found on my mom's channel or in the description below. Presunto. Ooh. This is our Portuguese ham, presumed. So how well, the we third one? Points uh, aqui, todo lado. Like roll it up? Uh, you, you could roll it up or or not. Like scrunch it, like you um, can just look. like they do with ginger on uh, yeah, and look, sushi, on just a sushi like that. Thing. I have something very exciting coming. Ooh, I can see them. What's it called? Mm, 
not that great. I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> Just a few moments. And you wash. Oh. Um, how does that look? How does that look? I don't really know. You know what? I'm so hungry that everything looks amazing. See? There. <laughs> are these walnuts Portuguese? They are um, not only Portuguese, but they're organic. They're from our hometown. They look organic. Now, do you want to present this one, Melissa? Oh, we have figs, yeah, also fresh, fresh imported figs. from Portugal, are they? These are from Mexico, um, however, we do have figs in Portugal. We have the purple kind and the green kind, and they are the best. So we, didn't, we couldn't get any from Portugal, but we... I mean, the fact that we were able to find figs at all is kind of surprising. Exactly. Um, so are we going to put it on board? Yeah. Please? I'm gonna put one like with each presunto. Yes, because the presunto is salty and then the fig is yeah, kind of two sweet. Together. We got whole ones as well. Oh! Putting some avocado, give it some, uh, some green, some color here. Oh, it's looking amazing. <laughs> wow! It is so much color. Yeah. These are some dry figs. And yes, these are Portuguese. It's there. So these we can just put filling up any any empty. gaps, any empty spots. But we don't want we don't want we want some empty spots. Because and then it just looks messy. <laughs> So you don't want them here? Because, okay. wait, no I do, but I it has I was to be... teaching you. <laughs> you know what? I don't know, like, there, yeah, has, okay, to, there has to be a method to the madness. Looks good. More dried, maybe, mm -hmm. fix here. Obviously, there's a lot more things that could go on the board if the board was bigger. This is just a few ideas, right? Just a few of the things that we like to eat um, as an appetizer. So what, what are we going to do with the okay. uh, green tomato preserve? The green tomato preserve, yeah, it's one of my favorite things. I think we, we leave it We leave like it in this, the jar. In yes. the jar. You can find the recipe for this green tomato preserve on my mom's channel or in the description. Maybe this can be here. Mm -hmm. Do you so want like the, a spoon for that or no? Yeah, uh, of course. Are the sausages going to be behind there? Uh, or should we push this a bit that way and put it on this side? Alright. Right? And now we put it just... Together. And we'll do like um, straight or diagonal? Yeah, diagonal looks good. Yeah. yeah. This uh, looks so pretty! A little spoon for the hummus. And, and then like... Um, it's like a steamy. We're missing the tomato jam. Do we have any? Yes. What about the marmalade? That too. We're missing marmalade and the <laughs> tomato jam. So there's a tub of homemade marmalade. And Ooh. the tomato jam, homemade as well. And homemade tomato jam. The marmalade, where are we gonna put it now? Should we just... With the cheese. Which cheese does it go better with? This one for sure. So maybe we can remove half of this cheese and put them on the Or unless you don't want to cut it. Oh, I have an idea. Okay. Now this should be like. A... So I cut this big chunk of marmalada. So it is uh, made from um, quince. Quince. Quince fruit. Quince. So this is otherwise known as quince jam. Yeah. Marmalade. Wow, this looks so pretty. Here's the marmalade, but this is looking kind of like it needs a... Uh, uvas. <laughs> yes, uvas. Grapes. I can open it. And maybe here? Yeah, let's put it here. This, I'm gonna have to do a, to make a, a video about this jam. It's so good. It's a little bit spicy. It's a what? Tomato jam. It's a tomato jam? Tomato jam, but a little bit spicy. It's delicious. Very good. Well, it looks like we 
We're done. I think so. It, everything smells so good, especially the, the smell. Chorizo. Yes, chorizo, mozzarella, the, the sausages, the garlic shrimp. Mmm, looks amazing. I love the hummus. So I think we're gonna uh, we're ready to dig in, don't you think? I think so. Wow. Looks amazing. Wow. Okay, everything looks amazing and I'm starving, so looks like we're done for today. I hope we gave you some ideas on what to serve on your appetizer table for um, Christmas or New Year's. Yeah, anything. Or but anything. It is, uh, é uma tábua portuguesa com certeza. <laughs> <laughs> Olha, falta as castanhas assadas. We forgot the chestnuts. What do we do? We don't. That's it. It's done. There's so many other products that are missing, such as the risóis, bolinhos de bacalhau. It looks like we're going to have to do a uh, towel point two. But for now, uh, it is full. There's, there's plenty of appetizers for a whole bunch of people, at least. 10 or 12 people, so we're going to be busy tonight um, eating Chilling all of this, down. so uh, yeah, get the wine. Well guys, thank you so much for watching, it was fun to do this with Melissa. She came here to learn from me and then at the end of it she was teaching me, so it's just how it goes with kids, you know, you think you're I teaching guess it's them what I and need. then... I guess I just needed to do it. To yeah, know, exactly, to know. to know, exactly, and especially with positioning things. I put it in one spot, she moves it, and then I move it again, and she moves it again. You know, it's only natural. That's I tell it. her how to cut things. And, uh... <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. Please watch it, subscribe, um, share it, do all kinds of things. Comment, like, and, and don't forget, forget to, to keep, keep up with Linda. Linda. Ciao!